Hey everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me for today's class. I'm, I've been doing a sampler series for yoga for core strength, particularly for women. So if you've been joining me every Wednesday for the last few weeks, thank you so much. Today's class is all about improving our balance because our core works to promote stability and helps us ground down and stay grounded in a stable position. And as we go through some of these moves, you'll see exactly what I mean. Uh, let's get started though. You don't need any special props for today's class, but it is always nice to have blocks or a strap nearby. And since we're working on balance, it can be helpful to be near a wall. All right, so let's get going and come to your mats in a comfortable seated position. Get your spine nice and straight, lower, close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale. And for the next 25 minutes or so, I just want you to try to clear your mind. And if that's not possible or if you're not even sure how to start with this, I just want you to try to continue to bring your focus back to your body and to your breath throughout the entire practice. Just notice how you're breathing right now. Notice how you're inhaling and exhaling. And maybe take a quick body scan just to be aware of what you're feeling today. Sometimes when we have a lot of things on our mind, it can help to ground down like this. It can help to just focus on what is here in the present, what is real, what is tangible right now. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. And then exhale, bring both your hands towards your left. Your left hand is coming behind you. Your right hand is coming across to the left knee for a simple twist. Inhale, reach, reach, reach up to the sky, fill up. And then exhale over to the other side. You're just waking up the spine here. Come back to center. Walk your hands forward, come to tabletop for just a moment. Let's take a few cat cows here, inhaling, dropping the belly down, looking up slightly, and then exhaling, pulling the navel to the spine as you tuck your chin and round your back. Inhale for cow pose. Exhale for cat pose. One more time, inhale, moving with our breath. And come to pause. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent quite a bit, especially if you have tight hamstrings. You're really looking to make a nice straight line between your wrists and your hips rather than get your heels to the mat. Now, some of you might have your heels to the mat without a problem. It, it doesn't matter whether you are here or with your heels touching. Yoga is about listening to your body and responding to what it's telling you. Separating that from your mind and maybe what you think you should be doing. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Walk your feet for, forward towards your hands and just pause when you're about halfway there. And I want you to root down through your right foot. And we're just going to lift our left leg up, hip distance. Okay, so we're keeping our hips in line. This is almost like a warm up for standing splits. 
So we're just lifting that up and then let it come down. Your left foot grounds down and reach your right leg up. Again, it doesn't have to be high. Hip distance is perfectly fine. You want to keep those hips nice and in. And then walk it down. One more time on each side. Left leg comes up. Feel a nice deep stretch up your grounded leg. And then bring it down and opposite. Release. Walk your feet all the way to your hands and roll up halfway so that your spine is nice and flat and straight. Fingertips are on your shins. Inhale and then exhale, fold. Hang out here for a minute and speak to Nasa. Forward fold. You can have a slight bend to the knees. And then roll all the way up, mountain pose. We're gonna do a few standing sun salutations just to warm up the body. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold all the way to the mat. Inhale, root down, rise up, reach up, reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way to the mat. Plant your hands or fingertips on the mat. Step your left foot back. Drop your left knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the mat. Float your back knee and step it forward. Root down, rise up, reach up to the sky. Reach all the way up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your opposite foot, my right foot back. Drop your right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands on the mat. Retuck the toe, step your right foot forward. Root down, rise up, reach up to the sky. And exhale, fold all the way down one more time. This time we're gonna pause here for a moment. Take an inhale for halfway lift to neutralize the spine, and then fold. We're gonna come back to those standing split warm-ups, noticing we're quite a bit closer to our hands this time. So if you need to walk your hands out and create a little distance, that's perfectly fine. And let's lift our left leg up this time. Maybe starting to walk your hands back even more towards the leg and really lifting that leg up to the sky. Press into that grounded foot and then reach it down. Same thing on the other side. If you need to walk your hands forward to help with balance, you can, or maybe keep them closer to the feet. Lift the right leg up and then maybe start to walk them back as you lift and lift on that leg. You don't need to come into what looks like a split to make this work. In fact, you want to keep your hips in line. So I could open my hips and reach my leg up so much higher, but I'm trying to keep them nice and in alignment to really maximize this. Good. Bring it down. Slowly roll up. Mountain pose. I'm going to turn to face you. We're going to move into eagle pose. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, start with your arms. Bring your right arm behind your left. Cross, wrap, and twist. So we're coming into eagle arms. If this is too much on your shoulders, you can simply reach for opposite shoulders or use one arm to open that left shoulder up. 
Whatever works for you. Sink down. Now we're gonna work on our balance here. So we're shifting our weight into our left foot. Really imagine that you're pressing into the left big toe. Even if you can't feel it happening, I want you to imagine that it's happening. Once you do that, start to take the weight off of your right foot. Maybe floating that right knee, eventually crossing it over the left. Keep a nice point of focus. It helps to stare at one exact spot and to create a dristi, that's your gaze at this one spot so that everything around it falls away. You're, you have that much focus, that much concentration. Beautiful. Release. Inhale, arms to the sky. We're going to move right into the other side for eagle on the other side. This time, left arm comes underneath the right. Cross, wrap, and twist. Again, you can go for opposite shoulders or even just use the one arm to open the right shoulder up. Sink down into chair pose. From here, press into your right big toe. Even if you can't control it, start to imagine it and it'll come. The more you practice, the more you'll start to notice those sensations. And then we're gonna to start to shift the weight completely into the right foot as we lift the left foot up. Maybe you work right here or float and cross it over the right. You can kickstand with that foot. If you notice, maybe you're wobble, more wobbly on this side, perfectly normal. And working right here is perfectly normal. Release, and back to center, inhale. Arms to the sky, and exhale, hands to prayer, and heart center. Eagle is such a healing pose. It's fantastic for circulation. It really gets the blood flowing through the body. You should feel some heat, heat and energy stirring in the body. And it's so good for all of the joints. We're gonna do a second set of Eagle and I'm gonna offer you a balance challenge. So move along with me and just give it a try. It's okay if you come out of it, just come back in and join us. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your right arm underneath your left. Cross, rapid twist, or grab for opposite shoulders. Sink down into chair pose. And as you sink into chair pose, I want you to think about this core area, your root lock that we talk so much about. When you exhale, engage and pull your navel back to your spine. Then lift your pelvic floor up. So you're really trying to pull back and up and meeting in the central place. Good. Try to keep that root lock as you shift the weight into the left leg and then lift your right leg up and over. We're gonna hold eagle for three breaths. Shaking is normal. If you have to come out of it, it's not a problem. Just jump back in and join us. One more inhale. And exhale. Now we're gonna come out of this, but we're gonna transition into another balancing pose. So we're gonna lift our right leg up and maybe not touch down. See if you can not touch down and then extend the leg behind you. Holding for just a moment. You see a warrior three pose happening and then touching that right leg down to the mat. We're coming into crescent pose with eagle arms. Are you with me? It's okay, you can just join me here. Beautiful. Unravel the arms, inhale, reach them up to the sky. Hold here, maybe sink a little lower into crescent. And then bring your hands to prayer and heart center. Noticing a lot of legs here, right? A lot of muscles working in those feet and ankles. That's what we want to focus on for balance. Now, 
Start to shift forward. We're coming into a strong warrior three lunge. Now you can stay here or float the right leg up to work on your warrior three. Keeping your hands at heart center can help to balance you. It's a really challenging position. You're just gonna hold it for a few moments. You're here, you're hanging on, maybe you wanna challenge even more. Reach your arms out to the side or even out in front of you if you have a strong lower back. Wherever you are, take one more inhale and exhale, bend that front leg, bring the other one up and set it down. Woo, mountain pose. Take three strong breaths here. Feel the heat in that leg. Feel how much different uh, you feel in one leg than the, in one leg than the other. We have so many little muscles and tendons and ligaments in our legs. They're so important for balance, even as we're strengthening that core. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your left arm underneath your right. Cross, wrap, and twist, or grab for opposite shoulders. Sink down into chair, shifting your weight into your right foot. Press into that right big toe. Remember about the core, the root lock here. Lift the left leg up and cross it over the right, coming into eagle pose. Find your focus, your dristi. Come back to your breath. Make sure that you're breathing. Slow and steady breaths as we continue to, continue to press into that right big toe. Now for the challenge. Unravel your legs, but maybe try not to touch down. Float your left leg back, moving through warrior three and just pausing for just, just like a hair of a second before we touch that left foot down and come in to crescent lunge. Find your balance and stability. Unravel your arms, inhale, reach up, and then sink a little lower. You can always bend your back knee in crescent if it's too much on your hip flexors. Re-engage your core, lift your pelvic floor. And bring your hands to prayer and heart center and start to lunge into that right leg, keeping the core engaged the entire time. Stay here or float the left leg up, coming into warrior three. Hands are at prayer to keep you nice, and strong and balanced. If you want more, you can come into airplane by reaching your arms out to the side and back. If you have a strong lower back, you can reach your arms forward. Wherever you are, take one more inhale. And exhale, bend the front leg, step your back leg forward. Release, mountain pose. Three strong breaths. Root in through your left foot. Lift your right knee up. Pause here. This is the perfect pose to practice anywhere, anytime in order to strengthen your core and work on balance. You don't have to do anything more than this. However, there are some challenges that you can try. You can try taking your right hand to the outside of your knee and gently with control, folding up to the side for balance. 
you want to go further, you can try extending the right leg out, taking your two forefingers to your big toe, and then opening to the side. You don't have to do either of those. You can stay right here. Beautiful. Release down. Press into your right big toe. Lift your left knee up. If you practice this, if you practice this pose, holding this pose for 30 seconds, maybe moving up and hold it for a minute. If you practice that every day, these next variations, opening to the side, even taking the big toe and extending the legs out, they'll come and they'll come easily. But it all starts right here. This is the core work that needs to be done. Whew, beautiful, release it down. Take a deep breath and exhale. Step your feet out wide so you're standing in a wide legged pose. Inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky as you let the left hand walk down your left side. Your hand can rest anywhere, just don't press in on the knee. Lengthening the side body. Back to center. And reach your left arm up. Right arm comes down the side body. And back to center. Reach both arms out to the side. Squeeze the front of your legs. With control, engage that core. So it helps to engage it on an exhale, especially if you're starting out. Exhale, engage the core, pull the, the, the navel back to the spine, lift up on the pelvic floor, and then start to fold forward. We're just coming down into a nice wide-legged forward stretch. So you can pause here and grab for opposite elbows. It's also a great spot to use a block, especially if you're tight in the back of your legs. Some of you may be all the way down here, and that's fine too. You can, if you're down here, you can grab for your heels. Just keep re-engaging the front of your legs, re-engaging that core. Take two more breaths here. Beautiful. Get back to center. Rise up. Bring your hands to prayer and heart center. Turn your left foot out to the side. And we're going to bend our right knee and we're going to lift our left toes up. Here we go, coming into dragon pose. There we go. Now your hands can be down here. They can be using a block. We're trying to do anything in these poses to make it better for you. We don't ever want pain. A little discomfort is normal, but we don't, um, you don't want to shove yourself into these poses if it's not working. If you need a variation for your body personally, don't ever hesitate to message me and I'll help you out. And to take it a little further, reach your right arm down to the mat and left arm comes up to the sky behind you. Beautiful heart opening position here. Excellent. And then release. Walk your hands over to the left as you drop your left foot down and lift your right toes up. Again, you can adjust with a block. Maybe reach your left arm out and right arm open to the sky. And 
Now we're going to walk our hands around to the front of the mat. And then walk your left foot over to your right, coming into pigeon pose. So if you lost me, you can just come into a high plank and step your left foot towards your right hand. Gently come down into pigeon. A block under the um, your hip can be really helpful. So at whatever leg you have bent, and your left knee bent, you can place the block under your left hip. Your hips are already feeling pretty open. You can remove the block and just adjust as needed. Feels really good after using those glutes, strengthening those glutes in the balance poses. Nice little side effect of balancing poses. They really sculpt your tush. So, <laughs> so another good reason to work on balance beyond the fact that it will help you avoid injury. Take another breath here. And then gently press, press your hands up, tuck your back toe, and we're just gonna switch to the other side. Right foot comes to left hand. Sink down in, noticing if you need a block on this side, you can place it right under that hip. Maybe not. Wherever you are, you just want your hips nice and in line. You don't wanna shift over like this, you know, nice, And gently come out of this. Plant your hands, tuck your back toe, step back to high plank position, and then transition into a seated pose. For just one moment, bend your knees, reach your arms out to the side. You work on Navasana boat pose. You can keep your toes grazing the mat, start to lift them up. Engaging the core and pelvic floor. Hold here. And release. On our next set, we're going to lower down. So you can lower from high boat to low boat, or you can also grab the back of your legs to help guide you down. Arms out. Float your legs up and start to lower all the way down. If this is too much, you leave those feet on the ground and use your hands to guide you down. Release. Pull your knees in. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale. Float your legs to the mat. Release your arms. Come into a final savasana for just a few moments. Close your eyes, lower them, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale completely. Just taking one moment to notice the change that is happening in your body. All those feel-good chemicals you've released pulsing throughout your limbs, throughout your core, throughout your brain. And your next inhale, reach your arms above you, stretch. And on your exhale, make your way to your side body, gently transitioning to a seated position, keeping your eyes lowered or closed. We'll close practice with another deep inhale. Reach the arms above you. Exhale, hands to prayer and heart center. Take a moment as we end class to find gratitude. 
take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today. You showed up, maybe for the first time, maybe again, but you showed up. Thank yourself for doing something good for your body and your mind. Thank you so much for joining me. The light in me sees, honors, and loves the light in you. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks again, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions about any of the poses that we did today um, or modifications for those poses, you can always message me, and I'm happy to help. Have a beautiful rest of your week.